Welcome to Mac and PC Prime Video here, and Apple today just announced Mac OS Sequoia, the latest operating system for the Mac. In this video, we're going to go over all the information about compatibility with your Mac and whether you're going to be able to install it or not. You can go to the Mac OS Sequoia preview page and going put a link in the description so you can read all the information about the latest operating system if you want to know if your Mac is compatible. I also want to compare this list against the previous year, Mac OS Sonoma, and the Macs that were left off for that year. So if you want to see the compatibility list, all you need to do is go all the way to the bottom and we can take a look at the compatibility list. Now, I wanted to compare these two because it's a big update and there was a lot of talk on how Apple was possibly going to be completely dropping the 2008 Intel line from the MacBook Pro to the Mac Mini to the MacBook Air and even the iMac Pro. The hype of Apple Mac, well, let's see what it is. If you bought a MacBook Air 2018, it is not possible to update the new OS today. The new OS will work only from MacBook Air model 2020. If so, the question arises, can I buy a MacBook Air and use it for four years? The question also arises whether we are going to lose all the old model Mac in the following times. So when we buy a MacBook Air, it seems to us that it is only for four years. Instead, you can buy a MacBook Pro. Now, when you look at here, the switch is around some of the things, but the bottom line is compared to last year where we lost three different models, this year we lose just two laptops, which is unbelievable. We were really thinking it is going to be a lot worse this year, so let's take a closer look at this list. First of all, there was talk that this was going to be additional to that possibility of 2018 being gone, that the T2 Max would be enforced across the line. Now, what's interesting is here is the only Mac on this list here that does not have a T2 security chip is the 2019 iMac. I also think it's interesting that the iMac Pro survived, and it should though, because this thing is a very powerful device, and definitely should have no problem whatsoever. Running the latest version of Sequoia, now Mac Mini 2018 is still here, so if you get your Intel T2 Mac Mini you are good to go, your Mac Pro is still here. Your Mac Studio, obviously that's going to be there in our 2018 MacBook Pro is still there. Again, we got a ton of users out there with 2018 MacBook Pros, so that's really great for them. But the casualty comes in right here with the MacBook Air, so we've got one of those machines. Unfortunately, you are not going to be able to install Mac or Sequoia. Now, I can understand that a little bit. The years past, I did not really understand it because those machines that were chopped off, this list could totally run it. But there's definitely been reports of those machines not really doing very well with the thermal and the running hot and running a little bit slow. But overall, I'm very happy with this list and I know a lot of people, even from the Hackintosh community, were worried that this is going to be the T2 across the board and they're probably going to be pretty happy that it's not. Nothing like that happened here, and this iMac is pretty much saving them here, so I am very happy with this list. Let me know what you think in the comments about this list. Are you impressed by this list? Do you think that they should have did better than last year? We can always talk about open legacy patches and especially those devices that we're going to be looking at with the possibility of support for macOS. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.